So every time I hear the Nigerian army or the Nigerian military talk about go after, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be professional, someone said. But every time I hear them say this, I think they are actually instruing a direct insult to Nigerians. And here is the reason. The chief of army staff, Tariq Lagbaja, cannot come to Nigerians. And you're telling junior officers to go after the troops. And Titia, the, 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 the man at the center of those country, center of this whole Niger Delta agitators and all of that issue, came out here, gave, this, gave names to the Nigerian government. These are the people who are behind or you theft. The Navy, we know, mans our waters. So in, in that sense, if the Chief of Army staff genuinely wants to go after this, is it for him to send the junior officers or is it for him to go to his colleagues who are actually running the the the, the, the oil cabal in the name of oil theft and then come out? What, what is, what is, how long are we going to be reading all of this in the news, if you may? I mean, it's blow us, but let's also try to <laughs> so, uh, see how we can and, get this out uh, there. Blow out. And yeah, are, and, 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 and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't forget also that the former governor of River State, yeah. on more than one occasion, when it comes to oil bunker and oil theft, pointed a direct finger at the Nigerian military. Up till today, he's out of office. Nobody has dared to challenge former governor yes on week to say you said this. You don't have, he doesn't have immunity. So when he, he, he we, we, this information, this conversation are all over the place. So when he comes out to say be disciplined, go, uh, who, who is he talking about going after? Oh well, maybe there's an attempt to rebrand the army. Um, but why don't they start by telling us the truth? No, it, Tantita has given a list. Now we look. As I made that comment. Recently, too, when he said oh, that okay. the, the army, the police, the navy, you just name them, even civil defense, they are all involved. And if you go to these oil communities where this, uh, they're cooking this uh, 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 oil, you crew, where the boys are earning a living. I don't know about that, <laughs> but maybe they are. But I don't know whether they're investing too because it won't last forever. Okay. Now, this. Okay. Uh, Thing that I'm, I'm just saying is that uh, it's obvious that everybody knows there's no way you can pass uh, waters, Nigerian waters, without support. There's no way an annoying tanker coming to do illicit business in Nigeria will pass through, get into Nigerian waters without being spotted. So it, it shows you uh, how this whole mafia, the way mafia works, you know, and um, that the military men, that the, in short, when I use the military, uh, the, uh, I mean, I'm talking about the entire military, that they are involved in this stealing, it's not in doubt. So, honorable, if the Nigerian military, let me ask you a direct question mm -hmm. now, hoping you can answer. If the Nigerian military Genuinely, mm -hmm. if the new chief of army staff, Tarid Lavaja, genuinely wants to end all you thefts in the Niger Delta, should he be giving order to junior officers when he knows that the king thinks behind it? Because, of, look, listen, uh, uh, this war is being fought on probably different levels. In the field, those junior officers they are talking about are the full soldiers, they're the ones there. They're the ones carrying out the instruction. Of who? Whose instruction are they carrying out? They are carrying out the instruction of the president because the president is the commander-in-chief. Okay. Now, you, you can see a difference in the fight against stealing or theft. Between what transpired in the past, maybe using Buhari as a reference, and what's going on now under Tinubu, you see there's some progression. Of course, Buhari set the stage when they brought in uh, Tompolo. Of course, because he realized that Maybe they are seeing some pull of them and the militants as uh, having direct contact and influence on the people. So, okay, let's use you, minimize this. You know, crime is not something you completely wipe out. And minimizing it is what I think they are working on. Even as they are talking about this, most more refineries are to come. Yeah, to get to some refineries. Now, so the, the, the thing is, I believe that uh, the. Army has responsibility. If our police force was working, if our police force was working, the army has no business, seriously speaking, 
because, of course, that is a defending sovereignty of this country, but standard. You know, police has responsibility for the internal operations, but I think the police service is overwhelmed. And um, let's not pretend. Corruption is everywhere. And, you know, uh, the bigger uh, the fish, the more difficult it is to catch. You know, so that's, I think that's what's going on.